Let's go up to the Masson booth, and FP is going to join us for a couple of minutes. You had mentioned during the telecast, FP, you haven't seen anything like this. It was a weird, like, 20 or 25 minutes there we went through. It was. It was uh, really cool with Ian Desmond coming off the field of the curtain call and the hugs in the dugout right after the fight between those guys. And, uh, I, you know, I don't know what to say, guys. I haven't seen the opposite, the, the juxtaposition, if you will, of two moments in a major league dugout ever in my 26 years in professional baseball. And like you said, we'll get to the bottom of it. You know, it's hard to speculate, but yeah. you know I love to read lips, and it looked like Jonathan Papelbon was telling Bryce to run the ball out. And he didn't say it just once. I think you say it once or twice as a player, you just kind of heat of the moment. You know, you got a lot of testosterone in the dugout, you just let it go. But it looked like to me, and watching that replay again in a more calmer moment for me, that Papelbon kept going and he kept going and he followed Bryce down the stairs. And I think that's why and when it escalated. Well, you, you referenced on the broadcast that it's one thing for a position player to say something about it. It's something else entirely for a pitcher to do it. Yeah, I did. I said exactly that. Well, I just, if you can uh, uh, give, give us a little more, uh, I guess, depth there. I mean, is, is it simply a matter of the pitcher doesn't, doesn't, is not out there every single day? Yeah, I mean, if you're grinding 148 games like Bryce Harper is and you're playing every single day, you know, pitchers don't. And, and if, a, if a guy that's grinding next to you, an everyday player says that to you, you listen to it and, and maybe you have words after the game if you disagree. But, you know, I don't know if anybody will say it publicly, but position players and pitchers, you know, don't play equal amounts. And Bryce Harper has been playing hard all season long, guys. You can say whatever you want about maybe two years ago or last year, but he's been grinding. He's been playing every day. He's been playing hurt a lot. And, you know, I think sometimes position players, whether this was the case or not, like I said, I don't know. I'm just reading lips. I could be totally wrong that when a pitcher tells a position player to play hard, your first reaction is, you know, you play one inning and you play well, once every five days. I'm playing every day. I couldn't read lips either, FP, but I'm thinking Harper might have been saying, you're telling me, okay, you're a pitcher every, whenever you come in out of the bullpen, you're telling me to run hard. I wonder about the atmosphere in that clubhouse now when you go back in there with Harper there a couple of innings ago, then Papelbon has to go back in that clubhouse. What's that going to be like? I don't know, Johnny. I have no idea. I'm sure we'll all find out. But, you know, I've said my piece, exactly what I think, and, and it, we'll find out as much as they want to tell us, and I'm going to bet that it's not a whole lot. Yeah, exactly. As you mentioned, the, the good point, the good thing we saw was the tremendous ovation that we got for Ian Desmond. That was great. I'm glad Matt Williams did that for, for Ian's sake. That was a classy moment by Matt Matt Williams and uh, Ian, De a sad moment for me watching Ian Desmond play yeah, for five years ago. Yeah. So, but just a roller coaster of emotions. I'm going to go take a Prozac and I'll talk to you guys later. All right, FP, thank you, man. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.